All right, Bear, what is your best bet of the week? Look, they're really, and Sammy was talking about this game in, in the group chat. Like, there isn't much about Illinois to be really excited about off of the first two performed. They probably should have lost their opener at home, and then they were never in the game uh, against Kansas last week. But there's something about conference road games that just make it tricky sometimes. You've got Drew Aller making his first road start. You're laying 15 on the road in Champaign against a team that, played terrible last week in, in, in Lawrence, and you would expect them to come out and play the best game of the year. So I'm taking Illinois plus the 15. Remember, too, go back and look at Penn State the last three years. And again, it, it, it could just be circumstance. It could be something. It could be nothing. Last year, their first conference road game, or their first road game, was a game at Purdue where they needed to come back and some help from the clock management area that Jeff Brom kind of butchered things yeah. at the end of that game. One thirty-five, thirty-one. I think it was two years ago. Went to Camp Randall, stru- struggled off and mightily against a Wisconsin team that wasn't a vintage Wisconsin team. Won by six. Twenty twenty, the COVID year. Went on the road to Indiana, lost in overtime to to the Hoosiers. So like last three years, like you look at their first road game, like yeah, teams change, circumstances the same. Like going on the road for the first time, Matt. I think there is something to it. You kind of lose your comfort zone. Maybe you haven't been prepared with some of the a tougher non-conference schedule early in the year to prepare you for a game like that. So look, I, I think I think 15 is too much here. I don't think Illinois can win the game, but but I, I would think defensively they'll play their best game of the year against Aller in that offense. And uh, I'm going to grab the points with the Illini. What do you got for us this week? For my best bet, uh, I'm taking Colorado State plus 13 and a half for the first half of the game against Colorado. This is an opportunity, I think, to wager on the college football emotions, right, of players. Um, Colorado just had two straight big new kickoff games. Big games, national TV, a lot of attention. They beat TCU. They beat their rival Nebraska. Now comes lowly Colorado State. 0-1, didn't play terribly well, and Colorado State's off a bye as well. But then Colorado next weekend goes to Oregon and then hosts USC. So this is a spot right now. I know the coaches are going to say, hey, guys, get up for the game. Like, come on, don't. But, like, this game to them, they're going to be down a little bit early on. And Colorado State's off a bye. I actually think Colorado might cover the full game spread bear. But I think in the first half, this game is tight. This game is close. They throw everything they have offensively at Colorado. Defensively, Colorado State was good last season as well. They're, they're one of the best in the country on, on defense. I think this is just a play on, on college football emotions. Now, have a down game for Colorado. Doesn't mean I think they stink. I actually think, again, they could cover the full game. But first half, I like Colorado State here. I think that's interesting because normally you would say in, in, a, in a game where you've got a big game next week on the road, come out cover the first half line, and then maybe you get back door later and kind of take your foot off the gas. So it's a little different take on it than what yeah, I'm just hearing. I, because I think Colorado State is not terribly good. <laughs> and I think the second <laughs> half of this game, uh, and we watched them play at Washington State where they just couldn't move the ball offensively, right. which was their problem last year as well. I think Colorado overtakes them late in the game. Just too much right. offense, too much speed, um, and, and too much just – too much Colorado, right? But the first half, Colorado State's off a bye. Like, this is a weird week two bye they're off yeah, of. Yeah, without an opening and, game yes. and then a week two, very, very strange schedule. They're going to have three, like, offensive shot trick plays. Like, they're going to throw everything in Colorado uh, early on. And look, it's a night game as well. They play two straight day games. Like, to me, it just feels like they come out a little bit slower than they have in the first two games. And I'll take them here. Before, as we talked about earlier, I, I cannot wait for next weekend because I will probably bet on Oregon. They're there. Uh, you, you will probably bet on Oregon. Yeah. There, there's Shocker. The, I, was I, say, I, I bet in bet on last weekend. We talked about this. I just, I just was betting against. I was hoping you would lose. Yeah, I was yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.